Hey guys, it's Poseidon here with IGR, and I know we haven't been posting lately because of uh, two things. School started back up and GTA 5. We've all been playing GTA 5, or most of us for that part. A couple people haven't. Most of IGR has. So, um, yeah, we're going to be playing that a lot, and we'll be posting more on that. We actually have a lot of stuff recorded that we haven't been uploaded yet. But uh, tomorrow is the multiplayer. Right now it is uh, September 30th, and it's 10.06 p.m., and, um, yeah, it's 10 6, and so tomorrow comes out the GTA 5 multiplayer GTA online, and, um, so I'm gonna do, I'm doing one last buried thing, and I might as well get Black Ops started up here. I'm doing one last buried thing, and I'm gonna show you guys how to, uh, get high rounds and limited rounds, where you can just set your controller down, and it does the killing for you. You just have to do one thing, and I will put up a uh, another separate camera of the controller to show you what to do. It's really simple, and I've actually done it a couple times, quite a few times, and I should actually have no tally marks, considering how much I've played this GTA 5 in the past, uh, I don't know, since the 17th, so, yeah. So, head Xbox Live, uh, I don't know why that always pops up, but, um, yeah, let's see, we have no tally marks whatsoever, alright. So let's go ahead and head into solo play here, and uh, I might do some cutting to this, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so we haven't done this in a while. Save a zombie around one, and that's how you get set up. And, yeah, so this is pretty much getting set up for it. And it's if you guys want to know how to get into the glitch, I will show you, and uh, this is the setup, but, yeah. Alright guys, I am back, and um, if you want to see the full tutorial of this glitch, whatever you want to call it, what to do is uh, just go there, and um, yeah, the zombies, he doesn't usually spawn there for me, but uh, yeah, what you want to do is you want to keep this door closed, and come over here, avoid the zombie, and over here keep this door closed. And, yeah, as long as you keep those two closed, you either can come up from up here, or, whoops, you can come up from up over here, or you can come up from the fountain like I did from Pack-A-Punch. And you can get it set up on round one. Uh, three main guns I recommend is SVU, Pack-A-Punch, Petrifier, you definitely need that prior rounds, and then the Ray Gun Mark II, Pack-A-Punch. And um, this is if you want to go, uh, I've gone to pretty high rounds here with... Uh, Everyone in the clan, and uh, yeah, we've used this glitch a lot. And yeah, so you, as you just come up here. Alright, guys, if, as soon as you keep those doors closed, all you need to do is just come up like right here and then go prone. After that, you pull out your trample steam and lay it down. Make sure the zombie doesn't come up towards you. And line up your sights to about here, right at the flag, and bam. You can pick up your trample steam and uh, just keep jumping and keep jumping and keep jumping and if you guys are wondering why I put the time bomb there uh, that's where the glitch is at so just keep on going up over here and then slowly go down over here and yeah unlimited rounds have your claymores down and yeah it's a really good glitch and I'll show you what to do with your controller to make it so you can set it down and don't do anything it's really fun and uh, extremely easy so I'll be back then Alright guys, this is where the cool part comes in. Um, you get to lay down your controller, like literally lay it down and the rounds go for you on Buried. And uh, you could do that and actually a couple maps. You could do it in Origins and here. And the only reason I got this power kit that I'm about to show you is for Origins. I thought it could be like the Paralyzer and I'll show you what I mean by that with the Paralyzer here. But uh, we got to a pretty good round. We're on round 20 right now. And... Uh, now the zombie's just spawning in, and so I'll turn this down a little bit, I'll put it on mute here. And, uh, so the zombies are just spawning in, and, um, it's gonna be pretty easy from here, but what you need, you need either two things. Either a wireless controller and a power kit, and a power kit I got this for free at GameStop with a uh, coupon with Power Ups Rewards if you're a rewards member. Uh, if you went to their website, they give you all those points and crap, and uh, I had some extra points. I was like, well, might as well, just in case of Origins comes out, and uh, there's a way to just hold down the trigger, like there is in Buried, and uh, that'll be that. So, um, I thought that would be a good idea. 
but it ended up not happening because we ended up getting staffs and um, yeah so but you could do it with the paralyzer and buried still and the glitch so if I haven't put the glitch in the top left or top right corner yet then it should be now and uh, or it'll be in the description if you are on the desktop or non-desktop version whatever you're on I'll have it in the description either way you can get to it and it's our last buried glitch video on our channel same glitch so um, yeah you either need this and a wireless controller like I do or a wired controller either way works so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and uh, so yeah guys these are the two things that you get you get this is where you put for the wireless controller and you could play in charge you could play for over 24 hours and it's really good and uh, GameStop has a lot of them and uh, they're always high on stock on them especially when new games come out and again it's only uh, $17.99 so yeah, there's that and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what you need to do uh, if you have a brand new one like I do just take this off here and all you need to do is either plug it into your Xbox or plug it in uh, something with a USB port. So right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, untangle this wire and plug it into my Xbox down here. And there we go. Okay, nice and snug in there. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be having my Xbox on throughout, I don't know, I think it would be almost 20 hours. I think I'll have this on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to swap this battery pack out and I'm going to put that here for now and then I'm going to put this battery pack in so I'm going to have that right there turn it back on and I'm going to check and see if it's fully charged and it almost is so either way and then what you can do is you can either have it plug in and charge and I think the light will come on here yeah, light will come on saying that it's charging, and I think it might go up to 4 after that, maybe. But, uh, I think it's saying it's charging, it's not fully charging when it's green, it's charged. But, you can go ahead and do this. Get this aside, and I think pop it in. And then it makes it a wired controller. So, like, see there, I have nothing in here, and it makes it wired. So, I think I'm actually going to keep it like this. And, yeah, it doesn't even have the battery option anymore on the guide. So, uh... Yeah, now to the main part, let's see if it gets knocked off. Yeah, if it someone trips and it comes out a little bit, um, it's pretty good, pretty nice and sturdy. I've had two of these. Uh, I had the first version of it, and those weren't as good as these ones are, so I had picked it this up, and uh, yeah, I thought it was a good deal. But this is where the glitch comes in. You can either have two things. You can either have a rubber band, which I prefer, or you can have tape. Tape isn't always the best, but because uh, it gets crap on your controller. But either way, it doesn't matter. And uh, so this is what you do with the paralyzer. Just make sure you're on a good round, and the zombies are piling in. And this is the glitch I'm having. I stay up. I back up to like right here on this line, so you can go ahead and line your sights up. I'm totally over to the wall here, as you can see, and I am like literally the zombies cannot touch me at all. So this is what you do with the rubber bands. So you just go ahead and there's two ways you can do it. Just do this, flip it around like that, make sure it's nice and tight, and then just bring it around like this, and bam. So what this does is this holds down your right trigger, like this. And like, see, I'm not even touching my controller and the paralyzer is petrified, whatever you call it, is going. Then it stops here and then it cools down and then it cools down 15 and keeps going. And here's the controller, I will show you, I'm not touching anything. Here are my hands, I'm going to lock them like this and that's just going, it goes for me. So I'm going to keep on doing this for, I don't know how long and... Uh, yeah, I will show you guys when I'm about to quit because I'm going to be playing GTA Online tomorrow. And, um, yeah, it's a really fun game. I recommend that you get GTA 5. And I'm only doing this because, uh, you know, why not? My Xbox isn't going to be on anyway. So I'm going to do this, see what round I can get to. And, um, yeah, tell me if you guys like this, uh, showing you how to set up a controller. And you put tape on here. Just make sure that there's a lot of tape. Make sure it doesn't come off because I've had that with scotch tape before. You can use duct tape or whatever. But um, either one, guys, uh, just tell me what you think, 
and yeah, let's tell me what, if you try this and what type of rounds you get. And you can also get the four paralyzer glitch going, and you can have a full team in here, have them all have it down, and have everyone go to bed and uh, come back. So this is a really nice glitch, and um, yeah, we'll be having GTA 5 online a lot. Oh, and another thing, you might want to aim this down a little bit so it can get the crawlers. And so I'm pretty sure that kills the crawlers off, and... Yeah, it's a really good glitch. I love this glitch, and I love the paralyzer, and uh, yeah, that's the whole reason I got this power kit, was because I wanted to see if there was any good glitches in Origins, but we ended up having the robot, so sorry I'm bringing this on and on, but if you want to see how to get into this glitch, uh, and have a full tutorial on what you can do in this side of this glitch, like you don't even need Jug, you see the perks that I have right there. What you can do inside this glitch, I'll have a link in the description to below, or there will be an annotation on the screen, and that's pretty much it. So. Yeah, guys, tell me what you think about this glitch. Uh, like, comment, subscribe for more glitches in GTA 5 Online. I'm not sure when I'll have this video. It could be after GTA 5 Online or before or right before. I'm not sure when I'll get a time to edit it, but it'll definitely be within this week of the first week of October. So, yeah, guys, tell me what you think, and um, I'll see you guys later and see you guys in GTA 5. And it's Poseidon, and I'm out. Hey guys, it's Aiden here with IGR, and um, I just got back. It is actually 3:37 p.m., and um, I woke up this morning. I'm taking off the rubber band now. There we go. Hopefully my trigger doesn't. Yep, trigger doesn't do anything. Yep. It doesn't affect your trigger at all. Like if you thought it'd like be stuck or anything. Doesn't have anything. I'm glad I have a warranty on this uh, controller. I have a two-year warranty on it, and uh, yeah, I just recently got it. It's a really good controller. But um, anyway, besides the point, I'm going to take the Nyko off, and there we go. Now we have the paralyzer recharging, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this card as I'm talking. But I'm gonna try to make it to around 75 here real quick, because 74. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a great number to me. But it is a good number, considering I've only been to the opposite of this, actually. That's funny, I've been to around 47. And, um, yeah, I came back, I started this up at around 10 p.m., and I got everything set up. And then at around 11 o'clock, I legitly got to, well, not legitly, I was in this glitch at around 11 o'clock, and now I'm playing right now, see? Around 11 o'clock, I, uh, got to round 20 in this glitch, and that's when I started. And then at 6.20 a.m. this morning, I was on round 66, and everyone says the Petrify and Paralyzer uh, gets weak, so uh, past round 70, and I don't even know, I got 74, but 